G'day, the beast from the east has arrived. I'm up on the Dartmoor National Park today and it is covered in snow. I've come up to um, Howell Lawn here to um, shoot the famous kind of tree sticking out the tour composition. Um, really white, loads of snow, there's no interest in the sky either, it's a proper kind of white out. Um, I'm going to spend about an hour up here. I've got about an hour until I've got to get back to the car, get home. The roads are getting worse every minute. Um, I was, I've been working up here this morning. It's been okay, really, but it, as I was driving up just now, it's kind of getting a lot worse. And I think there's a curfew, curfew that the police have put out as well. To, they want most vehicles off the road by about three o'clock because it is pretty bad. It's coming in quite heavy a bit later. Um, this classic composition here, I'm doing quite a simple shot of it. I've got the tripod quite low at the moment um, just because it's so windy up here again I want to try and stop any of the wind blowing the tripod and what I'm doing as well is when I'm shooting because the, the snow is coming down quite horizontally um, or get coming across the horizontally um, I'm just standing in front of the lens kind of blocking the snow from going across the front of it trying to get a better image really I don't want it going streaking across the lens and kind of ruining the shot my shot at the moment is quite light because obviously there's a lot of white snow in the ground, a lot of white in the sky. Um, I'm shooting at f11, um, f sorry f11, ISO 100. And that is giving me a shutter speed of about 60th of a second. I'm using no grad filters at all. There's no point up here. There's there's such a balanced scene. No point in having a polarizer filter. There's no sun or no effect from the sun. And the problem with those filters is they're just going to mist up and make it a lot worse. So simple shot, straight onto the, um, the composition, uh, nothing too fancy, simple nice shot um, and I'll see you at the next location. Right, I've just come across these Dartmoor ponies actually. Um, feel pretty sorry for them being out in the cold and the snow. There's um, four of them up here. Or saying that five if I can count. Um, they've actually made some really nice shots. Uh, I've got a few nice pictures of them kind of with the snow on and the snow blowing past them. Um, again, I feel a bit sorry for them. It must be pretty cold for them, but I suppose they're used to it. Um, but I've got quite cool ones with uh, hay tall rock in the background. You just about see it coming through the mist there. Um, I think it's worked quite well because um, one of the ponies was just stood in front of it and I kind of got it in a bit of the background. Um, but they're really friendly. It's just kind of stood here looking at me. But yeah, just one of those shots really. Not something you kind of look for as a landscape photographer. But um, yeah, it's always nice to have a bit of wildlife in it. Um, I wouldn't say they're massively wild, but adds a bit to it anyway. So um, yeah, some extra pictures that are a bit of a bonus for the day. Here, I'll continue making my way up that way. It's getting heavy all the time, so I'm going to give myself about another 15, 20 minutes to get back to the van, get a few more shots. I'll catch up with you in a minute.
I'm going to start off by apologising for the audio on this because I know it's going to be bad. Um, it's so windy again. Um, I've got to have my external mic underneath my coat. Um, if I had a massive dead cat on, I don't even know if that would um, kind of deal with the noise anyway. But I've only got um, this um, kind of mic here, which isn't very good um, kind of... Uh, wind muff on it so um it's not going to be amazing um but i think it's okay it's not too bad like under the coat for blocking the wind it's just it cuts a lot of the um quality from the sound so it, it kind of makes me sound even more mono than i already am uh i'm gonna make off now the road's looking pretty bad the only stuff i've seen up here for a while is like four-wheel drive so um hopefully <laughs> The van will get down there um i did take some shots of the road the sweeping road leading around to it but it's a bit too much of a white out at the moment um i've got shots in the past from that same vantage point um where you can see the tarmac either side of the white lines so you get these nice black lines that make it look really good in the black and white so i'll probably put a few of those up as well um with maybe one i took down there um earlier it's a bit too kind of white out by hay tours where you can't really see it so yeah, it's been quite good. I've seen some ponies. I've been down to Howell Lawn. Got a bit of the snow up here. It's one of those things as a photographer, whenever it snows, you want to get out and get like loads of epic shots. Um, but when you actually get out to do it, um, it's cold. Um, you struggle getting places. The roads are bad. And um, it never really works out as, as well as you hoped in, in the UK anyway. Um, so tomorrow is probably going to be much the same. I'll see if I can get up here, maybe get to another location. It all kind of depends what the, the weather does really tonight. It's meant to be coming quite badly, so um, I'm not holding my breath. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Again, if you've liked it, please give it a thumbs up or comment or subscribe or anything like that. Anything you kind of think I could do to improve stuff. Probably will get a dead cat for the mic anyway, just because I've realised over the last probably five, six vlogs that it's always windy when I'm trying to vlog places. Um, so I think it's just going to make a massive difference if I can get on top of that a bit better. So um, that should hopefully improve. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the images from this and I will catch up with you in the future.